Mercedes-Benz owners that drive the company's normally aspirated four-cylinder models have always been the poor relations when it comes to performance. Their cars, despite having all the luxury and refinement of other Mercedes, are always outpaced by V6 and V8 models. So for 1999, Mercedes-Benz has decided to give owners of its four-cylinder C-Class sedans a boost, and one that should help them keep up with the Joneses. Because adding a supercharger means a big power increase, something that the entry-level four-cylinder Mercedes-Benz C-Class sedan definitely needed. And in the 1999 C230 Compressor, Compressor being German for supercharger, the difference is immediately apparent. But first, the numbers. Borrowed from the SLK Roadster, the 2.3-liter supercharged intercooled four-banger makes the same 185 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. But that's 37 more horsepower for the C230 than before, with an equally impressive 38 more pound-feet of torque. All fed through Mercedes' latest five-speed adaptive automatic transmission and standard for 1999 ASR traction control system which when put to the test, pushes this car to 60 in an impressive 7.6 seconds. And through the full quarter mile in 15.7 seconds at 89 miles per hour. Not only does that beat Mercedes zero to 60 claims by a half second, but it's almost as fast as the discontinued but still formidable C36 super sedan. Though it did so with noticeably more vibration and noise than the company's normally silky smooth sixes. Shifts are firmer than in the last five-speed C-Class that we drove, but never harsh. This performance carries over to the street where the new power plant delivers significantly more power for passing and does so with impressive fuel economy. EPA estimates are 21 city and 29 highway, while we manage 24 miles per gallon in everyday driving. But while the drivetrain sees big changes for 1999, the C230's double wishbone front and five-arm multi-link rear suspension remains the same, as do the 15-inch alloy wheels shot with 205-60R15 tires. Larger 16-inch wheels as well as firmer suspension calibrations are available as part of the optional sport package. In standard form, our compressor test car produced solid, predictable handling. Front plow is pronounced, with the tail then drifting out in a smooth, predictable manner. The recirculating ball power steering is quick and surprisingly precise, but lacks feel when worked hard. But the chassis feels very tight with little body roll. Braking is by four-wheel disc with standard anti-lock and brake assist. Stops from 60 averaged 121 feet with plenty of pedal feel and rock-like stability. Just what we expect from our bins. We also expect lots of luxury and a very high level of build quality. But while the well-equipped, if compact-sized interior features some lovely wood trim on the dash, doors, and center console, the quality of plastics used seems lower than we're used to in this prestigious brand. Safety equipment, however, lives up to the Mercedes reputation with both front and side airbags for front seat occupants. Seating is also first rate. The standard cloth and leather bucket seats are firm and supportive with 10-way power controls. Full leather is optional. More side bolstering is our only wish. The gauges are large, clear if incomplete, as are those on all Mercedes products. But unlike other C-Class models, the compressor's climate controls are manually controlled, but as well laid out as any. Stereo changes for 99 come in the form of integrated controls for the sound system, optional CD changer, and cellular phone all in a single unit, plus some tricky fiber optic technology on the inside. Rear seat room is adequate for adult passengers, and the wide seat is very supportive. And the headrest full with just a touch of a button when you need a better view of what's behind you. The trunk is also quite roomy, offering a useful 12.9 cubic feet of space. So except for some funky dash plastics, the C230 compressor is what we've come to expect from the Mercedes C-Class, a solid, superbly made entry-level luxury sedan. But one with an extra kick in the tail thanks to its new force-fed four-cylinder engine. But it's an extra kick that does not kick up the price. With more power and extra equipment, the Mercedes-Benz C230 Compressor still carries a very reasonable base price of $31,795. With premium paint, sunroof, and CD changer, our test car carries a final price of $34,255. Now ask yourself this question, for the same money, would you rather have this car or a Lexus ES300? We think the answer is a no-brainer. The Mercedes-Benz C230 compressor is serious value, 
and even more importantly, serious performance. It puts the budget-conscious four-cylinder Mercedes driver on an equal footing with six-cylinder compatriots, and occasionally it might even put them ahead. I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week. We'll test Porsche's amazing 911 Carrera 4 and Chevy's Trailblazer Sport Utility Vehicle. Lisa Barrow tells us how autos become art, while Pat Goss visits the automotive mecca of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Plus, we'll have another long-term road test update and all the latest motor news. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, Visit us at PBS Online at the internet address on your screen. Motor Week has been brought to you by Pep Boys. No matter what you drive, Pep Boys has over 27,000 items in stock, virtually any part for any car, with all the name brands you know, plus service bays staffed with ASE certified technicians. Pep Boys, parts, tires, accessories, service. And by Duplicolor, for your automotive paint needs, for color matched scratch repair, for high performance engine paint and for specialty coatings. Since 1938, get the job done right. Duplicolor. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1 800 422 0064.